Hello, in this video I'll demonstrate how to plan your next row crop season in AgNote. Currently I'm logged in in my test account and I'm on row crops plantings page. I like to think of this page's layout as my row crops radar where I can see what I have currently planted, what was planted before, and in my next column I can start planning my next season. To plan my next crops there are two ways I can add the crop information. The obvious way is to click on one of the links, for, for example, field 202, click on add planting and fill in the next crop information. So I'm going to go with triticale, select the variety, in my case that's going to be 158 EP. The planting rate and unit of measure gets filled in automatically and click save. And the next crop information for that field has been saved. If you have, let's say, 30 fields in your farm and each field is going to have a different crop or different variety for the next season, then you would need to add the next crop information individually for each field by clicking on that Add Plantings link. But very often in the season, you will have the same crop and the same variety in many fields on your farm. In that case, we could use this batch add next plantings option. Just like clicking on it. And here we would first select all the fields which will have the same crop and variety. So I would need to expand. So this is my farm and all the fields for that farm. So I'm just going to select the fields where I'm going to be planting that one crop and variety. That's for that farm and let me expand this other one as well and I'm going to select these three fields here as well. Then next if you are tracking land cost for your plantings you can and, and the land cost is going to be different from what it is currently you can update that here. If you leave it blank then Agnot will use the same land cost as what you have currently. I'm going to leave it blank. And again, I'm going to be planting triticale, but this time different variety. So it's going to be Pacheco. And click Save. And all those fields have the next planting planned. And I can do the same thing for the remaining fields. So click Batch, Add Next Planting. And if you know that all the remaining fields will receive the same variety, you can just select the whole form like so and all those fields will be selected. And this time it's going to be Wheat, it's going to be Summit, and click Save. And now all my fields have the next planting planned. And from here you can download one of the next plantings reports. I'll just download this one, the next row crops list. And um, here on the report you can see how much seed, let me just zoom in a little bit. So how much seed is needed in pounds. And if you do have the variety purchase information saved in AgNote, you'll also see how much the seed will cost for each field. And once the current crop is harvested and you have the harvest date, you can simply move the next, basically you can move the whole row back towards the left. So the next will become current and current will become previous. You can do that individually for field and to do that just click on this link and if you have harvest date entered you'll have this checkbox available move planting to previous just select and save and it will move it back you can also move all the next planned season crops into the current by using this batch tool batch move next to current but if i click on it right now it will not give me any options and that's because in order for me to move the planting back, the planting needs to have the harvest date. And once I have all the harvest dates entered for the current planting, I can go to that batch tool, move next to current. And now I'll have all the available fields which can be moved back within this batch tool. So I'll select them and click save. And all those plantings were moved back. And that's all it takes to plan your next crop. You can plan it individually for each field, or you can use the batch tool to enter the next crop information for all the fields. 
And when the current plantings have been harvested and you have all the harvest dates in place, move all the next plantings back into the current. And that's your season, your current season. And at the end of each season, you can repeat these steps to plan your upcoming season. There are a few more things I want to point out before I conclude this video. If you would like to see your previous planting history, one way of doing that is you can navigate this previous column back. So with back, I mean simply click on this less than icon and that will navigate the whole column back. And here you can see all the previous plantings for that time. And you can keep navigating as long as there is more planting history for that field. And if you would like to see all the plantings for one individual field, you can click on this all plantings link and that'll give you the list of all the plantings that have been planted in that field before. And there you have it. That's how you would plan and manage your row crop plantings in Agnote. Thank you.